Hey, what's up, everybody? It's, uh, it's March 26, 2021, up here in Big Bear, and uh, looks like it, it, it snowed all night, or not all night, but on and off, just a little tiny bit. Uh, when I woke up and saw it snowing, I was like, what? What is going on? But still at my house, it wasn't even a half an inch of snow, um, but it was enough to make it look really, really nice around here, so. But I'm assuming that we'll probably have more than a half an inch over by the dam, which is where we're gonna head over to right now just to check check things out. And we're defrosting the windshield right now, so give it a second. more than that 
at my house. So for those who are gonna say, no, there's there's many inches up there. No, there's not. <laughs> there's not, okay? <laughs> there's not, man. But over by the Big Bear Dam, I'm interested to see if, if, if we have a half an inch to an inch over there. Usually I probably wouldn't go this far for such a meager little storm, but it's the end of the season and I want to try to catch as much as we can. Getting a little clearing over here. And yeah, it looks like we do have a little more snow over here. Still not even a, a half an inch, but close. cool little spot to live. It's a huge property right there and it's the only house on it. If I had lived on that property right on the street here I would put up a bunch of trees and stuff just so it felt like I was secluded back there. all the wealth you see up here comes from down the hill.
Yeah, this will all all be gone by like noon. You're not gonna see much of this afternoon. Very easy drive. So the video I uploaded last night um, took longer because I didn't have to clip a couple videos together. I had it on record the one time for the whole the, the whole drive. And the reason why I mentioned that is because those videos always turn out in the best 4K quality. Um, and also it takes like twice as long to upload for some reason. When I patch my, move, my uh, clips together through iMovie, and Final Cut and stuff, Final Cut Pro, or whichever ones I decide to use. Um, hang on a second. Um, it seems like I can patch the videos quickly and upload them quickly. And so I'm assuming that through iMovie, it, uh, it must create it in a lower resolution than the full 4K that I recorded. So I've noticed in the past, whenever I just upload straight from the camera without um, patching any videos together, it's always better quality. So even though it's great quality now, um, I'm gonna try not to turn this this camera off again and, and uh, see what it's like. As I said, it's gonna, it takes a lot longer for it to upload, but it's great quality top notch as it gets and we're over on the fawn skin side we just passed the dam and yeah they have about a half an inch over here for sure but not more than that it's pretty easy to tell just look on top of most of the surfaces anywhere and then you can you can basically tell how deep it is I can't look that way the whole time. I'm just gonna keep the camera over there because it just looks so pretty. I can follow the road. And then look at this later. week we got temperatures that could hit 70 degrees guys so say goodbye to the snow man say goodbye to the snow say hello to my little friend I call him the sun okay 
Okay. Do you want to go to wall? Okay. We go to wall. You know what a Hafsa is, Frank? It's a pig that doesn't fly straight. You're a Hafsa pig, Frank. Oh, Frank, huh? Alfred! <laughs> Sorry. Oh man, I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to do like. Uh, I'm gonna have to go through my Scarface stuff right now. I'm sorry, but it's just. It's gonna have to happen. It's gonna have to happen. If you don't like it, you have to unsubscribe. <laughs> Seriously. Um, yeah. I'm telling you, that is the greatest thing about this channel, guys. Is that I don't care about the subscriptions. I really don't. I couldn't care at all, actually. Uh, what I've gravitated to most in terms of my emotional satisfaction when it comes to this is helping you guys and responding to the comments. And the most freeing part about not giving a crap about the subscriptions and stuff is, uh, um, is the fact that I can continue to do my own content and not feel obligated to anyone. Obviously, I take your suggestions. I mean, that's that's a huge different thing. I take your suggestions all the time. And I'm always happy to do things for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Interested to see what Linda thinks. About this over here. This is where Linda lives. Linda's our friend, guys. She is our YouTube buddy. Hey, look at the sign, Fawn Skin. No clue what the hell they named this town that name for, but... It doesn't make sense to me, but then again, one plus one is difficult for me to comprehend, so we gotta, I need an explanation. Oh man, I can't wait to ride my bike tomorrow, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. Hoi. So how are you guys doing? Are you, are you guys doing great today or what? What's up? What's that? It's 8.53, I got best friend in the whole world coming up today and I'm one of his best friends who is definitely going to be one of my best friends I can I can already see that just I'm just so lucky to have a couple buddies like this um, I've always wanted a friendship like this where like they like look out for you and I thought that I had one um, but I thought wrong yeah, I thought wrong. And I gotta hold the camera out the window just for a second, guys, because it's overheating. I don't want it to shut off or else I'm gonna have to patch the videos together and it's gonna <coughs> not be as awesome, I don't think. As you guys, I want you guys to know that 99% of my videos that I've done over the past year and a half are patched together. So, um, as I said, I wanna see if you guys notice the difference because it's significant. Yes, I upload in 4K, the, the highest uh, the highest quality, best quality I possibly can with the best phone out there for this, the best camera on the phone. But, um, yeah, when I, when I use those programs like Final Cut Pro and iMovie, I don't know why, but it must take away some of the some of the quality. Just like I've always thought, and I, I, I could be wrong, but like when you, uh, for instance, when I would get like the newest internet down the hill uh, from like the home internet providers and stuff, like if it was the, uh, the new fiber optic type stuff and just like super, super fast, 
I always thought like uh, if they splice the coaxial cable or just any cable period to run more lines so you can have more access. Um, I've always thought that if you cut into the line, it's it's gonna diminish the quality. Um, therefore, if you have like one uh, coaxial cable going like 70 feet without being touched at all and just plugged in straight, straight from the source to the receiver, I've always believed because it's just, it's just common sense to think that, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably wrong. I've always believed that that actually makes it a better quality. And I bring that up because in most of my situations, we have multiple TVs and multiple internet and this and that in the house. So there's so many different uh, coaxial cables going out from the source. And, uh, and so therefore, you know, they'll, they'll cut one of the wires, screw on one of those uh, uh, splitters, and then they'll put two, two coaxial cables at the end of both of those splitters going out to two different freaking cable boxes. And then at the end of one of those, they'll put another splitter in and then put two more in, in there. So from the, single, from the single coaxial cable going all the way back to all your stuff, like, am I correct? Does that make sense that if it's just straight from the source, <laughs> connected straight to your to your uh, box, <laughs> to your box. <laughs> yeah, he said box. <laughs> Fire here. Um, shut up, Davis. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah. <laughs> Butt muncher. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Uh. Uh. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, what do you guys think about that? We're getting deep today, guys. We're getting deep. We're going deep. It's been a while, but we're going deep. Oh man, it's uh, guys, that was so inappropriate. That was so inappropriate. I don't even know. I'm sorry. That was so unbelievably inappropriate. How dare I do this? Huh? How dare I do this? looked at my rear view mirror and I swear I thought there was someone right behind me I was like there is no way but no that was just a, a chunk of ice that came down off of my rear windshield wiper it looked like a car but that would have freaked me out because at that point that would have only been a police officer not that I was speeding I wasn't speeding and no I'm not like trying to be cute about it and like so oh he's he he was speeding but he's trying to act like he wasn't <laughs> look i guess i was a little bit right you know forgive me please right here this turn you guys very dangerous um i've seen cars over this edge uh, numerous times and uh as a matter of fact one time a few years back I noticed a car over the edge right there. And just like most people would, you would assume that the car has been there a while already. You know, it's already been been handled and taken care of because there's a car upside down in the damn ditch. So, uh, you know, there, there aren't any cops around you. Well, what had happened was like, it had just happened. Like I, I didn't see them in front of me or anything, but apparently it had just happened because I did stop because um, I saw brake lights on. And, and still, that that wouldn't get me to stop usually, but I, I don't know what it was, but I stopped. And funny enough, they were sitting on the other side of, of the car, and the car was sitting up, up upside down. They were, they were totally fine. They were like kind of giggling, but in, in, a, in a state of shock type of a way. Um, they were okay, but yeah, guys, like... Uh, Especially in areas like this, if you see something like that and, and you don't see any uh, recovery vehicles or authorities or anything like that, please, please just assume 
and I have the hiccup. Please assume that there's somebody in the car. And uh, I know it sucks, it's super cold outside, and it just sucks, you know, you just wanna get get home. Um, but think about the fact that that, that could be like your mom, or like uh, your son or daughter. It's just really important that we do the best we can to, to try, to try, to, to help if, 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 if we can. As I said, situations like that, you don't wanna just blow right by it. Here, we're at Stanfield Cutoff. That's towards the dam, and that's towards uh, Baldwin Lake. That view today is gorgeous. I love it, I love it, I love it. But so is this, and so is this. <laughs> yeah, it's early. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna go into Moon Ridge, okay? To get home. This guy needs to go, man. Now we're gonna go straight. All right, guys, you know a neighborhood we, we would like to live is up here. Make a left in here into the Castle Glen Estates. Look at how big some of these homes are back there. And that's just at the bottom, dude. If anybody has a house up there, let me know. Because uh, I'd like to uh, to at least have a place. Uh, I'm going to keep my place, but you can't, have, uh, you can't have a place up here renting two places in your name. So... I'd like a, a, a much bigger place to like vacation at. Um, and when I talk about vacation, it's, it's just me. And I, and I just hang out and like just take jacuzzis and just chill. Um, and basically like uh, just to have a room in, in a, someone's house where I promise you, and I would obligate myself contractually to it as well. So you guys wouldn't have any, any concerns like, uh, um, I, I, I want to live in a mansion up here, but I can't afford a mansion by myself. And so I was thinking since I'm never at the house and I'm always working. And as I said, like even at night, I'd go sleep at my regular house most of the month, but, a, but a few nights per month to be able to like get away and, and for my sanity, you guys, I'm willing to pay up to like 1500 bucks extra per month just to have a, just to have a room somewhere. Um, obviously I hope it's like a decent sized room, uh, but even if it's not, if it's in a freaking mansion in a beautiful little area, I'm absolutely fine with it. And, uh, um, I'm really, look guys, I'm Jewish. I'm really good at saving money. <laughs> so I'm really good at saving money as far as you know. And, uh, yeah, like, uh, I'm very, very responsible with my bills and the people that help me out. Um, for instance, with the rent at my place, when, when, when my business started doing well about a year and a half ago, um, uh, I paid a, a year worth of rent up front. Yeah, guys, a year. My rent's not much. Uh, my one year's worth of rent is probably equal to most of your like two and a half months or three months, okay? So it's not that much, but when it comes to this $1,500 one, um, I can, I can up front probably pay three to four months um, and then stay three to four months ahead just so there's never any concern. So like if, if someone's cool enough to like rent me out a freaking bedroom and I, and, and I never have guests over, I would never have guests over except for like my mom, but that's it. Um, uh, but yeah, other than that, like uh, that would be a lot of fun. I, I could really use something like that. And as I said, you would uh, you would not be in, in any fiscal uh, stress because, as I said, I would up front give you three to four months of the rent, and then from that point on, I would I, I would never get uh, behind at all. And, and behind in this situation means that I wouldn't be uh, um, you know like uh, saying, oh well, I paid the four months up front, so I have a few more months till I need to pay rent. It wouldn't work like that. I'm always gonna wanna stay at least three to four months ahead, um, especially to give the the people who uh, I end up renting a room from uh, just that sense of of just, 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 just peace, knowing that that it's me and that I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna screw you over in any way. And the whole point also in the three to four or more months, if I can, 
if I can come up with it um, up front is uh, is to give you that peace of mind that I'm not gonna like bounce out or like this and that in the contract too like if if I end up moving like I'm um, I'm not like I would put that 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 money's gone basically uh, there's no way that I get that money refunded so as I said, it's a it's a win-win situation for me. It's it, it's an emotional grand slam, um, or a, a, a you know a game-winning touchdown um, emotionally. And the older I get, the more I focus on trying to do those things. Uh, because if you can get get yourself happy, you guys, I, I don't care what it is. I don't care if society sees it as bad or not good for you. Whatever you need to do to give yourself a little bit more ambition and motivation to succeed. I don't care what it is, but never forget the word moderation, ever. And uh, yeah, you guys are worth every freaking penny, but if anybody has any ideas, and I'm talking about a big house, guys. I'm not talking like 3,000 square feet. Like, I wanna live in a house that like I grew up in, like 5,000 plus square feet. And uh, as I said, I know they're very expensive, but, um, I'll pay 1500 towards one room and up front. And as I said, we can contractually obligate me, no worries. That's, that's what I would rather do. So if anybody out there uh, is interested in helping a brother out, let me know. Anyway, I love you guys a lot. It's March 25th, or March 26th, 2021, I'm pretty sure. Have a great rest of your day. I'll be doing some more recording soon. Peace.